Welcome back everyone. Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services and another USDA Loan Pro video quick tip. So how many acres can you finance with a USDA Rural Home Loan? It sounds like a trick question, doesn't it? Because many associate USDA Home Loans with a farm loan. However, in the past there have been issues and frustration when the land value significantly outweighed the value of the home. However, recent guideline changes have opened up flexibility for properties with increased acreage. Today's video tip are going to go into those details and show you how these properties may now be possible. But before we get started, don't forget to download our USDA Blueprint for Success with a link below. This is a free guide, which is a great educational resource, which helps break down the USDA process step by step and is an excellent tool for the home buying process. So, how many acres can you finance with a USDA loan? As a point of clarification, the USDA program is designed for single family housing and is not a solution for working farms or income producing properties. With that being said, recent improvements have been made to the guidelines covering allowable land value. USDA guidelines previously had stated the following in situations when the site value exceeded 30% of the total overall appraised value. Number one, the value of the site must be typical for the area, as evidenced by the appraisal, and the parcel cannot be subdivided into two or more sites. For example, if you had a property that appraised for $100,000, and the appraiser noted that the site value of the appraisal was at $35,000, then that portion would be at 35% of the appraised value, thus exceeding the guideline. This would then have required both of the mentioned steps to be met in order to proceed. However, a very key point that has been clarified in the new USDA 3555 guidelines states the following. The site size must be typical for the area. This simple clarification clearly opens up the potential for larger acreage properties without the further burden required to document if the property could be subdivided. This could potentially increase the amount of acres you can finance with a USDA loan and the available property types. In summary, do not assume in cases of acreage that it may or may not be eligible for a USDA loan. Comparable sales in the area will help to justify if the site value is typical for the area. Unique properties can require additional review up front. So if you have any questions, contact my team so we can help determine how many acres can be financed with your next USDA loan. I do have one last question before we wrap up. If your car breaks down, do you call the cable company? This goes the same with USDA Rural Home Loans. As an approved USDA lender, we are known for our specific experience and expertise on this unique program, from qualification to closing. Just call or email if you need help with a pre-qualification, want to discuss a new scenario, or would just like to take advantage of our free second opinion service, which is great for those existing transactions. I want everyone to make it a great day and look forward to seeing you right here for the next tip of the week.